into the sensor you got first a laser diet and a line camera which does some triangulation stuff and measures the distance and if it spins you get in a rather like picture of the environment and this is the map which is being used by the robot for navigation so let's open it up okay top cover the drive belt the dust protection And this is what I do was not possible on the older modules. As you can see, they are quite identical, a blackboard, but quite identical. Let's just say power board. Let's get some focus. 2016, February the 24th. Second, so we got here some inductive coil. On the other side, you get here the opening part, and so the is the power trans transferred wirelessly as QI charging on your phone to the sensor. The sensor itself has a laser pointer, infrared one, and the camera. Got the connector for the laser pointer and the connector for the sensor. And this board with its six wires seems quite identical to others built in, in Nieto or Cobalt Vacuum. And the D bot uses also quite the same. As you can see, this uh, Delfino Texas uh, DSP, which processes everything. And then the data is sent wirelessly with this uh, sending diode inside. It's the diode 5. And there's the receiving diode, which then uh, transmits the data the robot. Also you got some uh, speed coding style gap and no gap thing here which has been used for measurement of the rotating speed of the sensor and there is a small gap here which is an indicator for the start of a new turn so I think here is zero degree and then it starts the interesting part also is this that this part is heavier, the camera part is heavier than the laser diode part, so on this side there is screwed some counterweights. So it's that the sensor get no wobbling on high rotation speeds. 
So now let's take it back. So this was the sensor. I think the board underneath could be the same as in others, but I think it's a Xiaomi's one. And this is maybe a sensor or technology delivery which has been used by everyone. Or it is a poor rip of copy of the technology from Nieto. But maybe Nieto sells this to someone or they use the same supplier to get this sensor. So and this is the gap detection for the rotation speed. So this is a speed measurement of this thing. So the coil is connected to L2 and there's some bridge rectifier here, the four diodes and some power management diode here and maybe an LDO or something which then ensures a stable voltage and then you got your DC voltage and can work. So this is the sensor. Now let's look on the bottom side. So the molars. So what you got here is the inductive coil L2, the infrared receiving diode and some analog stuff for sending out the sinus onto the coil and take it to the resonance to get the max performance of the motor.